Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a while since I've done a, a YouTube video on my 10 man Insta tent that I got from Walmart. It's pretty windy today. Um, I can tell you that this tent's been very good to us. We have been to several places camping with it. We've been to Morrow Mountain up there in North Carolina. Uh, I've been to Carolina Beach with it uh, on both ends of Carolina Beach, if you're familiar with that area. I've also uh, did some camping over at Jordan Lake, which y'all have seen a video of that. That's where actually my first video was put up at. Uh, I've also uh, did some camping over at Myrtle Beach at the Myrtle Beach State Park. Uh, camped out there on the beach with it. So we've done a lot of camping with this thing. Uh, it's been three years uh, since I've had it uh, when I posted the first video. So what I thought I'd do today is uh, kind of take you through it. Uh, I'll, I'll set up here by myself. Uh, it's a lot quicker with two people, but I'm just going to do it by myself in case uh, you're like me and you're going in to set it up by yourself and the rest of the family or the rest of the, your buddies haven't got there yet. Uh, we'll show you how simple it is to set up by yourself. And I'll tell you what, this thing has held up. Uh, we haven't had any issues. The only thing that's happened, uh, at one time we were at the beach camping and we had a uh, portable heater in there and uh, somebody had knocked the heater over when they were getting out of the tent and it just kind of barely melted the bottom of the tent floor just a little bit. Thankfully it didn't melt all the way through, but just a little bit. So I don't know how good you can hear me today because of the wind blowing. I actually had to, the tarp that I'm gonna put the tent on uh, is the same tarp that I had when I set it the first time. I actually had to kind of uh, stake it down a little bit because the wind was blowing that tarp. Everywhere I put it, it was blowing it back off. So anyways, if you guys will stay tuned, uh, we'll set this thing up. We'll let y'all take a look at it and uh, see how long it takes just one guy setting up the tent.
All right, guys, as you can tell, it don't take long uh, to set up this tent. I did it by myself. It's been a while since I set it up, but I really need to get it set up so I can get it cleaned out really good. Uh, the last time I used it, <clears throat> we were at uh, Myrtle's Beach, and uh, we had a camp out with a bunch of guys uh, from the church. And I hadn't cleaned it out since then, so I need to get in there and sweep it out really good, just kind of go over it. But as you can tell, a really simple setup. It's not hard at all to, to get this set up. And once you get it set up, I'll take you inside in just a minute. I'll uh, let you look around it. This thing works great. I haven't had any issues. A one-man setup, a 10-man tent, it takes me hardly no time at all. And uh, other than just getting it turned around, and remember to pull up instead of trying to pull down on the, <laughs> the bottom leg. I was trying to push it down. Really, all I need to do is pull up, and you can tell how windy it is out here. Uh, but, yeah, stand by, and I'll take you inside. All right, guys, let's go ahead and uh, take a look on the inside. So it's got plenty of room. I am uh, standing in the middle right now, and I'm 6'4". And uh, so you can stand up in it. Of course, my head is touching the top of it with this hat on. But 6'3", uh, 6'4", six, six, I'm pretty tall. You can just here move around. I'm walking all around this tent with no, no real issues here. This wall, I just put this up. This comes with it. This is a divider wall. And uh, you can unlatch it from this side here if you wanted to. And take this latch, open this on up, and carry it all the way in and hook on this side. And you could have one compartment completely closed off. So, you know, if, if you were with another couple or uh, you're with your kids and your husband and wife on one end on one side and you want the kids on the other side and you're trying to separate it for whatever reason, you could do that. Uh, it will hold, like I said, I think we had two queen mattresses in here, blow up mattresses. And it's got plenty of room. Also, what you could do if you wanted to, you can see the top of this here. And you noticed that when I first put it up. If you didn't want to put this uh, cover on top of it and you wanted to sleep under the stars, we've done that at the beach and just took the top off and the wind blow through here and just watched the stars. Really nice uh, doing that. I said three years and you can look around. There's nothing wrong with this tent. Well, so I haven't had any issues with it. Any issues whatsoever. All I gotta do is clean it out and uh, get it ready for the uh, next camp. Let me tell it's just a little dirty where we <laughs> messed around here the last time I used it. But uh, let's take a walk outside. Like I said, look around the tent. Three years of use, numerous times. It's got an area here. You can run a uh, power cord in there if you want a place to hook up your phones and stuff at night. Watch TV, whatever y'all do. Uh, you can pull that out, get some more air, air going in through here. I don't know if y'all can tell how windy it is, but this is not staked to the ground. Look how it's picking up. <laughs> it's picking up, the wind is moving it. That is hilarious. Yeah, so you want to you stake it down because it will carry away if you don't stake it down with all this wind. Let me back this thing back up here. That is funny. Y'all caught that on camera. All right, let's get this thing back over here. This is so funny. That's how windy it is out here right now. But yeah, let me step back so y'all can see it. But yeah, you definitely want to stake it down uh, when it's super windy out. But this has been a great tent. I just wanted to Kind of let y'all see it's been a great great tent so if you're interested in buying one of these at walmart or whatever whoever else might sell them it pops right up ozark trail i appreciate you guys watching y'all come back and see me now later